Hi guys, I'm Song Jung Long Gas, and today I am super excited as you are because I'm making vegan ramen. Yes, yes. I know you guys have been waiting for a really, really long time, and it's finally here. You guys are waiting for you guys have been waiting this recipe not only after I became a plant based, but even before that. So I'm super excited. So I just crushed the 20 cloves of garlic. Um, this is actually equal to about two bulbs of garlic. You can just use two bulbs, just cut it in half and use it. And three to four slices of ginger, putting into the large pot. And I cleaned up two large leeks. Uh, you guys know how much I love using leeks for my ramen broth. Cut them in half in lengthwise with the root attached and wash them each layers because leeks carries a lot of mud and dust inside of their uh, leaves. If your leeks root is nice and clean, you can use it, it's just well washed. But my leeks root is not that clean, whatever reason, so I'm just gonna cut them off, just like that. Kinda fold them like this and put them into the pot. And of course, for the umami flavor, flavor for the umami flavor, we will use this dried kelp. We call it tashima or kombu in Japanese. Uh, you will need about two pieces of your hand size. Let's break this like this, so it will whew, fit into the pot. Next ingredient: some radish or carrot. I'm using Korean radish because I was able to get it from my, my local Korean grocery store. Uh, but if you cannot get Korean radish, instead of using regular, the small radish, you use carrot. Because this will give the broth nice and sweet flavor, that root vegetable, only root vegetable can give that kind of that different flavor and that's what we want. So carrot or Korean radish. So if you are using Korean radish like me, make sure you use this white part because this is a little more spicy side that is better for the broth. And keep this green part for if you wanna make musengche, which is I have a recipe right here, or any Korean radish salad. It's much sweeter on the green side. The last vegetable I'm gonna use is actually dried shiitake mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna use about 10 of them. Fresh shiitake mushroom would not work for the broth uh, because fresh shiitake mushroom, I mean, you can use it, but it wouldn't be as deep and thick flavor as the dried shiitake mushroom will give. This ramen actually will blow your mind. It is so delicious. It's like, you can't even tell this is a vegan or not. I'm, I'm like really flat out that honest about the taste. Now let's pour for the water. Turn the heat and bring it to boil. When the broth is started boiling, we need to remove our kombu or tashima, that dried kelp, because they will release a lot of this slimy texture to the broth. You can cool it down and shred them and eat as salad. They're super good for you. It's clean your guts and all the good stuff. My mom loves eating them, actually, with some gochujang and wrap it up with rice and she loves eating that. So reduce the heat to medium and cover. Let it simmer for one hour. And meanwhile, we are simmering the broth. We are gonna make the tare. Tare is the sauce, base sauce for the ramen. So you can actually uh, adjust the saltiness and the flavor for your broth to your taste. And so for tare, we will need red miso. If you have a white miso, you can use them. But red miso is a little more saltier and a little more deeper flavor. So I highly recommend to use, use uh, red miso. If you don't have a red miso, actually doenjang will work great too. One and a half to two tablespoons of chili oil with chili flakes. You can use my chili oil. I have a recipe, check it out right here. Or you can use a store-bought chili oil that I call Lao Gamma. They are super delicious in this recipe as well. Three tablespoons of yondu. 
So yeondu is something you can get from local Korean grocery store or online. I will put the link down below. This is actually fermented soybean and other vegetables. It's a liquid sauce. I've been using yeondu for my fish sauce substitute and I'm, I've been very happy how easy this tare is. So it's only three ingredients, but all three ingredients are packed with flavors. It's crazy. This is umami bomb right here. So delicious. And for our chashu, I'm actually going to use king oyster mushrooms. Just a slice of king oyster mushrooms in lengthwise, in between quarter to half inch thickness. And let's add this sauce. I don't know what to call this sauce name yet. What should I call this? Sangyeong. Sangyeong's house sauce? sauce? Yeah, Sangyeong's sauce. <laughs> okay, house sauce. so my house sauce. <laughs> Let's call this my house sauce. I just showed you guys how to make this sauce on my Chinese clay pot rice recipe right here. So check it out. Uh, super easy to make sauce and I actually made a uh, double of it because I use so many different recipes. I use this sauce for stir fry noodles, on top of the rice, we're marinating sauce like this. It is so delicious. So you will need about two tablespoons for three king oyster mushrooms. Give them a, give them a little toss like this so they will coat it evenly with the sauce. And because of mushroom absorb the flavor and anything that around them like a sponge, so we don't need to marinate them too long, which is good because this vegan ramen doesn't let you stay in the kitchen for eight hours, 12 hours to finish to make. It's so much more doable in my opinion. And while they are marinating, we are gonna prepare another topping, which is butter corn without butter. I'm gonna put this on my real stove out there. Well, I'm not going to align. How you gonna do it? <laughs> so heat your skillet over medium high. Add a tablespoon of coconut oil or vegan butter. Let's add one can of drained corn. A little pinch of salt. And saute it for a couple of minutes and we are done. Like, look at that. How easy was that? Done. I've been heating my grill pan. You can actually grill this outdoor if you want to. I'm just gonna just use my grill pan and you can just pan fry them too. But I love the grip mark on my mushrooms. And just oil your grill pan. We are gonna grill our marinated mushrooms. My toppings are ready. I just chopped four green onions, only the, the green part, not the white part. And I mean, you can use white part too, but I just love this dark green on my ramen. And my broth is done simmering now. I'm going to actually strain all these solid ingredients out so I can start to make my ramen bowl. Oh my God. I'm so hungry right now. So shiitake mushrooms actually will be really good either in this ramen or just a stir fry with the sauce that I showed you earlier as a side dish later. So I'm going to actually take them out separately and use it later. They are so meaty and delicious. And while you're doing it, make sure you squeeze all this vegetable because that's where all this real thick flavors at. If you use Korean radish like me, you can also save them and eat them separately too. So I strained pretty clean and there's a couple of garlic pieces left here, but I don't mind eating them. So I'm just gonna leave it. Right now you can taste the broth and you're probably questioning. Is this it, Samyang? Like, I trust your recipe. And this is just a vegetable broth. I know. You know what will make this broth ramen, uh, ramen broth? Mm. 
I don't know why every time I laugh when I'm using it. <laughs> when I'm making the paste, you probably know what I'm about to add. Teaspoon of You don't have to add it, but it's not gonna be as good. I'm gonna keep this broth hot over here. And I'm gonna bring another pot of water to boil so I can cook ramen noodles and build the ramen bowl. And taste it if that is enough tare for your taste. Mm, it's so good. You will be surprised how flavorful it is. It's like ridiculous. Mm. Like mushroom chashu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. She's, she's, she's like, I want to be the star. <laughs> <coughs> she says, but you can't catch me. <laughs> the best part of my uh, vegan ramen, it's so hearty on your taste and on your heart, but it's so light on your body. It's like, you know, usually after eating ramen noodles, all the sodium and the fatty and all the stuff kind of, your body is like tired after you're eating, but this one, If you guys liked my vegan ramen recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more recipes. And if you want to get all of my recipes with recipe cards and step by step pictures and the videos and nutrition facts and everything, go to my website right down below. I will put the link down below. Thank you for watching. Bye!